I was gonna um, come up here and tell you all how I'm the president of this lovely organization and ask you for money. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It's totally cool. I get it. It's still ruining it. But actually, uh, I guess what I'm saying here, you guys all mentioned, um, as the president of this lovely organization, how many people in this room have never been in this space before? Hey. Is anybody in this room because they saw a post on a neighborhood board for Facebook? Anyone? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hoping that was working. <laughs> um, in any case, uh, speakeasy is only one of the things that happens here in the space. We also have figure drawings, so if you want to draw some naked ladies. <laughs> right? Not me. That's <laughs> not my jam. <laughs> um, so there's that, and then we also have Girl Develop It, which they teach women how to do developing this. <laughs> Other kind of things. Coding, I believe. I'm not a villain. I shouldn't reveal that to everybody. It's, it sounds really lovely, though. Um, and then we also have Monday Night Live and lots of comedy events and just kinds of, all kinds of fantastic things that happen here. You can also rent this space for practically nothing. Uh, last month, we had the Patty Smith. Um, exhibit along the wall with the word fuck like 48 times. And then during the course of the weekend, we had a gospel troupe that came in here to sell their CDs along that wall. <laughs> Diversity, folks. <laughs> We're lucky to have this space. And I do mean that. Um, also, we need toilet paper and, and things like that. So uh, we, we need members always. If you go to wildgoosecreative.com and you click on Donate to the Goose, you can become a member for $5 a month. $60 a year, or if you just have some money in your pants that you want to jam into the egg hole, <laughs> I date for part of that. <laughs> I know, right? I'm so creative. <laughs> just jam some cash in there if you get a chance. That, that helps us tremendously. Um, so that being said, um, on to the other thing. Um, so you know sometimes life is just weird. And um, it's like you're, you're, you're going through the buffet line of life, and it's already been kind of, you've like a lot of weird already to many weird things. And so, so as you're going through, you're like, no, no, it's cool, no more weird, I'm, I'm kind of weird and tolerant. And this woman who you know, wears too much eye makeup and is kind of cranky and doesn't understand eyebrows, just plops some extra weird onto your plate. That's how my life has been kind of recently. Which is fine, it's cool. I'm, I'm a, I'm a little Fonzie. I'm kind of, I'm strong like a bull. I can make it, whatever. So I, I was having a weird time. Um, last uh, July, like in the beginning of July, or 4th of July, my sister came. And we had decided, she had never seen a cave before. So I was like, Psh, girl, I know some caves. Let's go check them out. <laughs> so we, we go to Ash Cave and, and we walked around and it was really beautiful and like, just, it's just stunningly gorgeous there, and, and it was really cool to sit on a rock and eat cheese sandwiches with my sister with her big eyes, and she's like totally amazed by how pretty everything is, and, and, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm embracing the fact that I'm here now in Columbus, Ohio, and this is where I'm going to stay, and this is, these are the things that are available to me, and isn't this cool? And so <laughs> we walk, on our way in, there's this huge like fire tower that you can climb, I guess, and I don't know look for fires. I don't know what else you could do up there other than be like, there's one. <laughs> so we walked past this tower on the way in and um, my son on the way back was like, I'm climbing and I want to climb up there and you know, you should climb it with me. And I was like, we just walked all over the place and I'm not doing that. So I'll wait for you here at the bottom, take my camera to the top and get me a cool picture. So he goes running, running, running. I mean, seriously, it's super tall. It's like a shitload of stairs. And so he takes off, and, and I'm standing at the base of it, and I'm staring up into this tower, and I'm like, this thing is so tall. Like, that's a lot. I'm trying to contemplate how many stairs did my son just climb. And as I'm staring up, something hits me in the face, like right here. And I was like, oh, God, what the hell? <laughs> and I believe my exact word to my sister was, did a bird just shit on my face? <laughs> and she's like, I don't think so. <laughs> How the hell would I know? <laughs> and so I, I kind of screamed because it was so gross. <laughs> and, 
thoroughly unexpected. And um, when I screamed, this little man poked his head out on the top of the tower and looked down and went, oh, oh my God, which doesn't, that's, now it's really gross. <laughs> now it's worse. And, and so I'm standing there like, oh my God, like, you know, please tell me that I have an antibacterial sleeve <laughs> or something. And, and so while I'm completely grossed out and horrified that this has taken place, what I'm hearing is this man's voice getting closer and closer. He's running down the tower to come talk to me, which is weird. I would have just stayed up there. <laughs> Well, you owned that moment. <laughs> and thank 